So earlier we saw that the basics of AI and we cover this ML and some portion from this. So in this video, we'll cover about computer vision. So in the small videos, I'll try to talk, cover all of this and I'll give some hints about the questions that uh, generally come so that you can pay special attention to those. So let's begin. So what is vision? So if you just, we have added the word computer. So it's the computer ability to see things. Right. So if there is anything, right, if I create a bottle, right, not a bottle, let's say this is a kind of candle. My drawing is not so good, right? So if I show a candle to a computer and it can recognize, so that's what the computer vision comes into picture. So Microsoft has created a seeing AI app. You can download this. And if you, I have tried that. So if you, if you point it to some text, it can read it. If you can show some barcode, it will tell you, okay, what it is pointing to, right? So it is very useful. It will read loud for you. So if uh, somebody is having a particular kind of disability, it would be very useful. And sometimes for uh, for people also, right, they, they don't understand a particular thing. They can take a picture, right? And uh, it can announce the name for you. There are various options uh, in that app. Okay, and now comes the four important tasks. I will show a picture which will tell you the first one is object detection, right? So there are some question also that comes in the paper generally. So it's about like, for example, if you are drawing a rectangular boundary, right? So that is called as object detection. So there could be many things. Let's say there is a traffic scene. There are people walking, there are cars and all, right? So how system works is firstly, it can draw a rectangle around that. Right. For example, people are wearing sunglasses. Then semantic segmentation means uh, apart from that boundary, just that word itself. So if you just highlight only that portion, that is called as uh, semantic segmentation. Okay. And then we can recognize even face detection. Or if you are reading a text from some picture, let's say I'll give you this picture and you can read. So that is done by the OCR part of it. Okay. So here they have defined that there are three things to it. Okay, so if you see that taking a photo is first step, that's an input. So what you will do with that input it, you get an image, you analyze it, right? Or you can do some face detection in it. You can extract text from it, right? So the first thing is you can extract text. There may be people present, so you can do facial analysis or there could be animal or things that you can do with the image analysis. Let me show you a diagram. So this is in the course itself that they have shown. So image classification is you tell that what the image is about. So it is of taxi. In object detection, we draw a rectangular thing. So yeah, whenever there is object detection, a rectangle would be there. In semantic segmentation, if you see that we are just highlighting that particular object, we are not drawing any rectangle around it. If you see this cyclist, this car, bus, and it is telling you this is semantic segmentation in image analysis it will tell you okay there is a person with uh, a dog on the street this is facial and other thing is ocr when you want to read text from an image right so in that case ocr service would be useful so now comes the custom vision this is also an important topic so in this what happens is uh, let's say you are a creative person and you have uh, created maybe a different type of bottle, right? Let's say it is in a different shape other than. So what you can do is using computer AI vision service of Azure, you can just show such pictures and uh, give the analysis on there that if this kind of image comes, then it means uh, it's a bottle. Okay. So in those cases, wherever the word custom is there, you want to do anything custom using this ability to see things, then you can use the custom vision. Custom vision is you are training your own model. Here, the model is already trained on the data that is available on internet or whatever places they have used the data for. But in custom vision, you use a customized uh, thing, right? For example, it has analysis capabilities. So if you show an image based on its knowledge, it can tell which brand it is. Right now, they are talking about how it works. Right, so image is a pixel array. So in this diagram, they have tried to show. So every image is consist of various pixel. 
from the value 0 to 255 where all these values represent a color right so for computer it cannot directly see something and tell that okay it's an elephant it's something right so how it does is uh, this is an image where everywhere 0 0 0 is written and then 255 is written so it will pass this matrix over everywhere and it will try to apply like for example filter also works like this right so this is the way it uh, recognizes things by which it reads it pixel by pixel all of the image and try to make sense of what the data is and then it does the uh, computation and tells you that what is uh, there in the image okay so that's what is explained here right and uh, th that was a simple way to show you that 0 to 255 but there could be multiple dimensions right uh, uh, because a same if you are taking bottle example a same bottle could be placed at multiple places in a forest here where they are like so it involves multiple dimensional data matrix would be created and then it will uh, come to uh, the final output okay and here it's telling that how that filtering is work right in phone we apply various filters so that is the procedure pixel by pixel it changes the things for that so that's just the basic that they have talked about uh, computer vision we have to be careful with this that that okay it is used for image analysis facial and any ocr related things that can be uh, done by computer vision uh, hope you like it thank you